Welcome to Scholar Gladiatorial Channel, I'm Matt Easton and this is my short video series and I'm going to tell you in this video as briefly as possible what is a backsword and why is a backsword? I'll explain that in a second. So first of all a backsword is a single-edged sword. It's not a sword that you wear on your back, it is called that because it has a blunt back, kind of like a spine, and then it has a single edge. Now you might be thinking well lots of swords are built like that and that is true, however particularly in Britain uh, and to some extent other English-speaking uh, countries like America and Canada, the uh, sword that was used in the 17th and 18th centuries that is single-edged like this example here which is a genuine 18th century example from 1700s um, often with a basket hilt doesn't have to have a basket hilt um, but so we would call this a basket hilted backsword and if someone just says backsword they probably mean one with a basket hilt but not necessarily this was a very common uh, type of sword, very popular type of military sword, also used in dueling and self-defence and other things in the 18th century, going all the way back to the uh, 16th and 17th century. And it differs from this sword here, which might superficially look similar. It is a basket-hilted sword, but this is a broadsword. This was known as a broadsword in the 18th century. Um, uh, so don't think about medieval swords, think about uh, later period industrial gunpowder age swords. This is double-edged. Okay, double-edged versus single-edged. So the back sword uh, is single-edged, as shown here. Now, why would you make a sword that only has one edge instead of two? Um, there are two main reasons. Okay, number one, it's easier. Okay, and if it's easier, it's therefore quicker. It's therefore cheaper. Okay, so you can make a sing single-edged sword more easily, more economically than you can make a double-edged sword. There is a second reason as well, and that is that you can get uh, easily, you can more easily get a favourable edge geometry on a single edge sword while still having a thick spine at the back. So if you think about on a double edged sword, the thickest point is at the middle of the blade, okay, and that means therefore that you have to have a more obtuse angle at the cutting edge, whereas with a back sword, the thickest part of the blade is at the back of the blade, which means you can have a more acute cutting edge. Um, so there we go, a little introduction to back swords. This is a basket hilted back sword, British from the middle of the 18th century, um, and these were used all over the British Empire. They were also used all over continental Europe as well, although not with this exact hilt design. This is a particularly British and uh, that includes obviously England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland and the British Empire um, style of hilt. So that is your quick, fast and dirty introduction to British basket hilted back swords. Thanks for watching. We've got extra videos on Patreon. Please give our Facebook a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers folks.